What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. It's the summer, which means international vacay or study abroad. You know, seeing the sights. And there are new pink passport dolls that I would love to check out. So let's go to Target. I headed straight over to the Barbies and at the beginning of the aisle, I found them. New Barbie pink passport dolls. I'm seeing four of them, including a Brooklyn and a Malibu. Loving the red bike. So let's check it out. This is the Barbie pink passport Holland bike set. It was priced at $29.99. This is the Pink Passport Hawaii Brooklyn playset, priced at $19.99, the Pink Passport Parisian playset for $19.99, and the Pink Passport Italy travel doll for $14.99. These dolls have basic articulation. However, the doll that comes with a bike does have knees. On the back of the box, we can see a picture of the doll and the accessories and it looks like there's a small picture that we can punch out. Is it kind of like a stamp? Ah, it would have been so cool if they included a few mini postcards and if they made the doll packaging usable for a backdrop. Let's remove the doll from the box, which has a lot of cuts in the background, but if you really wanted to, you could probably salvage it. All of the dolls that I have are pretty pixelated and shiny. And it looks like this Barbie has pink lip liner. This doll has blonde hair, might need a little attention out of the box. She has lighter blonde hair in the front, has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. She comes wearing a clear necklace with a little bit of glitter in it, a dress with elastic straps. There is no opening in the back. Under the dress, there is a pink mesh bodysuit with orange stitching at the neck and sleeves, and it has Velcro in the back. I am glad that these are two separate pieces. This doll has turquoise transparent platform shoes and comes with a few accessories, like a pink bucket hat. It's kind of flexible and easily fits on the doll. We have orange flame glasses. Here they are on the doll. She also comes with a coffee gelato, and pizza, which is a printed image on a plate. I would have loved to have seen a 3D pizza or, you know, something with just a little more depth because we know Barbie can do it. But for the most part at $14.99, we're pretty much getting a $10 Barbie fashionista with a $4.99 accessory pack and the lid can come off the coffee. If we look through our Barbie accessories, we can probably put together something similar. I have the same coffee cup from another playset, as well as ice cream or gelato, so we can totally mix and match to make our own. The Hawaii playset, here's the box art, comes with a pixelated Brooklyn with straight hair, wearing an orange bathing suit that's a little bulky at the top where they sewed the straps. She comes with a blue sheer sarong with pink stitching around the edge. It velcros at the hip and has a light floral print. She comes with a pink bracelet and accessories. We get a pink chair similar to the one that came with the Barbie backyard playset. I like that we're getting one in pink. It'll look great in my doll backyard. Oh yeah, that totally works. We also get a blanket. I think we have a dress made out of the same material. She also comes with a blue transparent visor, an orange bag, a pineapple drink where the top can open, a small orange bottle of sunblock, light green sunglasses, yellow flip-flops, and a pink popsicle with a purple stick. I'm glad they painted it because so many of my Barbie popsicles aren't painted. They're just one color. I would have loved to have seen it in brown, but maybe there's a reason why it's purple. Maybe it's supposed to be like one of those reusable ones from making your own popsicles because those do come in a variety of colors. At $19.99, I think the chair is the highlight of this set. However, I do love a new bathing suit. Here it is on a classic made to move Barbie. There is a little room in there and the bulkiness of the straps is mainly in the back. So we can probably cover them with the doll's hair. 
This set was also $19.99. Here's the box art. There's a nice little clear spot here. You could probably use it for a window. The included doll comes wearing a red and white dress with ruffles on the shoulders. The edges of the ruffles are not hemmed and the bottom of the dress has red stitching. It does open with Velcro in the back. The red and white dress is paired with a pink necklace that says love and pink shoes. This doll comes with a pink beret that is plastic along with a turquoise bag, a blue and white blanket that we can lay on the lawn, then add the included basket, lap, table, coffee cup, a yellow camera, a small bouquet of flowers where the flowers are painted pink, and the bow that is sculpted on is left the same color as the stems. We have bread that is open in the back and a small croissant so the doll can sit outside and enjoy the day. Barbie has made quite a few baskets over the years, so if you have one, we can add the bread that we repainted from the Barbie's Farmer's Market playset, along with some of the flowers that we repainted. I think that's a croissant. Yep. And that's a coffee cup. I have the same camera in silver and the lap table in brown. This one came with a small backrest playset. If you're looking for a few ideas to recreate this vibe with stuff you might already have. Last but not least, let's check out the bike. This one was $29.99. Here's the box art, which might be useful for photography for close-up shots if we let the background kind of blur. Just a second, I need to attach the pedals. This Barbie has more articulation than the others. There is a joint at the knee, allowing the doll to ride the bike. As the back wheel moves, it looks like she's pedaling. But when she's off the bike, she has kind of wobbly legs. This doll is pixelated with blonde hair, comes wearing a pink baby tee with a graphic on the front. She has pink and white striped shorts that ruffle at the top and have a bow. The shirt and the shorts are two separate pieces and they Velcro in the back. She wears pink shoes and comes with a red, white, and blue bike. There's a little rubber band behind the chain and a clear waist bracket to hold the doll on the seat. The bike has a kickstand so it can stand up. We also get a brown basket that we can place on the front. There's a pink backpack that can open. There's a purple helmet, stickers. There is a dog where the white of the eye is painted and the dog can sit in the basket. We get two bouquets of flowers, one pink and one red. And I love that the stems are green because sometimes we get this. We also get blue binoculars, a pretzel in a wrapper and a star shaped waffle on a plate. I wanted this playset mainly for the bike. I like that it comes in red. And I like the idea of the dolls doing a little traveling. And a super easy way to make it look like they're traveling is to use a calendar. This is one of my favorite things to do in photos. Just pick out the background that you want, place a doll in front, and take a picture. It's great for headshots, but can be a little limiting for wider shots. See? But if we just take the picture and crop it, we can totally get the look. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Barbie Pink Passport. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!